iOS 18 is rumored to be the biggest update ever in iPhone's history. Those are not my words, but Mark Gurman's. And you know what? I'm inclined to believe that. There's been a couple interesting rumors to talk about, so let's take an insider look of what iOS 18 will be like, what we want it to be, and whether it's really as good as I think. You know, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm kind of tired of this iOS look. It basically stayed the same since iOS 7, at least when it comes to the design philosophy. Same flat icons and flashy colors, same minimalism and lack of depth. Even though over the years, the system has become much more customizable than it ever was, it is still not enough to compensate for the rigid design. And now, 10 years later, iOS 18 is rumored to finally give us something new. Rumors say that the iOS 18 will get a new design heavily inspired by Vision OS. Two different rumors are at play here. First, the idea of the system redesign came from Mark Gurman, a very reputable leaker at Bloomberg. Even though he said the design will have only some changes, it was enough to get people talking. And a bit later, a sketchy rumor appeared that claimed the Vision OS inspired design elements in the new iOS 18. Of course, we shouldn't expect anything super drastic, simply because the transparency that's in the core of the Vision OS design isn't really possible in iPhones. There may not be that much depth in a flat system to begin with, so the most common thing people are fantasizing about is the return of skeuomorphism in one way or another. The icons, fonts, and buttons likely will not change that much. The overall aesthetic and color scheme will stay largely the same. What we can expect is some added depth to all the elements, probably with some soft shadows and mild transparency in drop down menus. A good way to illustrate where things are going is by comparing the icons from iOS and macOS. The App Store icon in Mac is a bit more volumetric, less flat. The semi-transparent windows in macOS also hint at the possible change in iOS 18. I'm really excited for the new look, even if the changes will be relatively minor. But the majority of the excitement about iOS 18 is revolving around AI. Apple executives claim that AI-infused iOS 18 will be ambitious and compelling. So the question has to be asked, what are we getting? AI in iOS 18 will come in two forms, integrated and standalone. What I call standalone is basically a revamped Siri and Spotlight. Kinda standalone, kinda integrated, you decide. Anyway, Spotlight is rumored to become smarter and learn to better interact with apps on your phone. Apparently, it will work in a similar way to ChatGPT and be able to respond to simple prompts, even the ones that need to fetch some information from your apps. This sounds fun, but I think the revamped Siri is much more interesting. Leaks suggest that Apple is gonna use LLM to completely revamp Siri into the ultimate virtual assistant and turn it into the most powerful killer AI app. This includes not only an improved functionality, but also advanced natural conversation capabilities and improved user personalization. Mark Gurman also said that Siri will have an improved interaction with the Messages app, allowing Siri to auto-complete sentences or answer complex questions on the go. The information claims that Siri will gain deeper integration with the Shortcuts app and allow users to automate even more complex tasks, like taking a series of photos, turning them into a GIF, and then sending the GIF to someone one. This is just an example, but these changes mean that we wouldn't have to do all that scripting in the shortcuts app that I'm all for. As for the app integrated AI, that's where we have even less details. Apple has also explored AI features that would allow users to automatically generate playlists and Apple Music and presentation slides in the Keynote app. Other apps that are rumored to gain deeper AI integration in iOS 18 include health, messages, numbers, pages, and shortcuts, and there will likely be more. That's basically everything we know, and that's really a shame. I want more. Apple is really secretive about these things, and the fact that we know about only a couple of features already could mean that the true scope of the upcoming AI features is much, much greater. What could happen is Apple go in the similar way that Samsung did. We made a great review of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and the AI features there are pretty cool. For example, the AI is embedded in the keyboard so the phone can translate this stuff as you type. There's also the live translation of calls, AI summarization, the notes, or in the browser. The phone can also turn any video into 
slow motion video almost on the go and it is seriously impressive and then there is a famous circle to search feature that lets you search for anything on the screen and the accuracy of the search is really good and how can i forget about ai photo editing s24 can delete objects from the photo replace them move stuff around and do all sorts of things this is not really in the realm of photography but definitely is a very interesting feature i'm not sure that apple is ready to go that hard on ai but let's hope to feel this AI in iOS, at least in some ways. Because if this time the AI will be small and hidden, like it was in previous updates, I'm going to get seriously mad. The interesting thing about these AI features is that there is a non-zero chance that some of them will be limited to the iPhone 16 models, thanks to their more powerful chips. Currently, there is no proof of that, only leaks. And I don't think that we'll know about these features all the way till the September event. There's gonna be WWDC this June, and iOS 18 will be unveiled there. And it gets pretty clear that all of the features that Apple plans on showing us in June will be available across the lineup. And don't worry, I'm gonna get to the list of supported devices real soon because it's better described with something you never expect. Right now, I think we can play Christmas and write a little wish list of everything we want iOS 18 to be. Customizable lock screen shortcuts. Current shortcuts don't make a lot of sense. Right now, the bottom left shortcut is occupied by a flashlight and the bottom right by the camera. And I don't really see the need for any of them simply because I rarely use a flashlight and I can launch a camera simply by swiping left. It would be super cool to be able to customize these shortcuts to our liking. Maybe a quick launch of an app or setting up the light and dark mode, switching between focus modes. There's so much potential here. Another thing that we want to see is the home screen themes. I know I can already create something like this, but the home screen will change only with the focus mode. And I don't really want to create more focus modes. Or how about making interactive widgets even better and put in certain elements from the control center onto the home screen. Sounds like something I would use. Or how about uh, making that dynamic island more useful and giving it more features. Right now, the dynamic island is a beautiful gimmick that's main purpose is to make the iPhone easily recognizable. Apple, if you're watching this, think about integrating Siri into the dynamic island. As the concepts show, it's all gonna look really, really nice. Let's use the dynamic island as the clipboard. Its placement is perfect for it. Or combine notification windows and dynamic island. We want more features for the dynamic island. And since I'm talking about that, I cannot ignore my own wishes. I want more features for the action button. Apple really messed up by not giving us a double or triple click functionality. And the iOS 18 simply has to fix this. Even if the actions will be predetermined and non-customizable, it would still be better than having no additional options at all. My action button is set up to show me a list of shortcuts and I would be happy if it was able to do even more than that. And how about smaller widgets? Right now, the smallest widget size is two by two, and it would be really nice to have two by one size for small things like countdown, music, and all sorts of little things. And let's not forget about bringing the split screen experience to the iPhone. It's been around on Android for years now and on iPads, if I remember correctly, since 2015. We want that, we need that, especially on the huge 15 Pro Max. This 6.7 inch screen is begging for proper split screen experience. There's so much stuff we want iOS 18 to bring, like the ability to stack photos in the Photos app. Am I the only one who has dozens of similar photos from my trips that I don't want to delete? This stacking feature would make it so easy to separate memories from one another, kind of like folders inside the Photos app. I know it is futile to hope for AI photo editing and being able to delete things from the photos, but at least give us the opportunity to delete elite power lines or people in the background. But the craziest thing we all wanna see is Stage Manager coming to iOS. iPhone 15 Pro is powerful enough to stream video feed to high resolution displays, and I see no reason for a phone with eight gigs of RAM and a Type-C port to not be able to replace the laptop, at least in some ways. Even being able to just browse the web in a full-fledged Safari or work with documents, this will already be enough for so many people out there, but 
let's be real, this is never happening. Apple doesn't want to give us one device to roll them all. And as I promised earlier, here's the list of all supported iPhones. Do you notice anything strange? Looks absolutely identical to the list of iOS 17 supported devices. And this got me thinking, how big will this update really be and what features could the owners of the older iPhones really get? I think we'll have a similar story to iOS 15. If I remember correctly, this was the first iOS version to limit features to specific iPhone models. Back then, the features not available on all the iPhones were quite small, like uh, the ability to copy and paste text from photos or voice isolation FaceTime, but iOS 18 features promise to be much more grander, so there is a chance that all the iPhones like 10s and 11 will only get minor stuff like the redesign and all the AI features will be available only on iPhone 12 and newer. At least that's my prediction. This also got me thinking how big this update can really be. Leakers call it the biggest update in the iPhone history. But how about all the biggest updates that came before? iOS 11 was a pretty minor update and if I remember correctly, was the last visual change to iOS. That year, the iPhone 10 came out, so the control center had to be redone. iOS 12 was focused on performance and fixing bugs. It had almost no interesting features. iOS 13 brought dark mode to the system, added a couple improvements to the camera and photos, slightly revamped the app store, and that was it iOS 14 brought widgets and app library, finally tying the Android and iOS, at least in the widget department. It has also introduced focus modes and slightly redesigned the notifications. It was a pretty good update, but not all that memorable. iOS 16 continued the legacy of the iOS 15 and gave us more personalization for the lock screen widget to the lock screen, slightly upgraded focus modes, added tab groups to Safari and called it a day. iOS 17 was also a pretty minor update, but you have it on your phone already, so there is no point in talking about it. So in light of all this, will iOS 18 really be that huge? I think regardless of whatever everyone says, it would be a normal sized update and add a new design and a couple of features that we didn't have before. And that's it. It will not make any sharp turns or pivot iOS in the new direction. It's gonna be more of the same, but slightly better and more refined. Even so, I'm still excited about it. It's new design and all the AI features. WWDC is just a couple months away and I'm definitely gonna install the beta and review all the changes. So be sure to subscribe to not miss a thing. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.